For some of your labs, including this week, you'll have to make sure that you take some pictures and include them with your lab submission. Now, one of the pictures you'll be taking this week is a screenshot, and how you do that is going to depend on your particular computer. Contact me if you have questions. The other one is a picture that you're probably going to be taking with, say, a cell phone camera. And it's something from outside in the natural world. So let me just go through this a little bit. First of all, when you take a picture, and like here, mine goes to the Google Photos, I want to make sure that I've saved that and I know where it's saved to. So in this case, I made sure I saved it to my computer in pictures so that I can come back and find it. Well, then in your PDF, and this again is Adobe Acrobat Reader, when you click on this frame, it's going to bring up a box that's going to allow you to look for your image. So I click on Browse, and again, I remember where I put it, so I put it into Pictures, and there's my picture. Open it up, and there's my outdoor nature picture that includes my cat. Now, don't worry if your picture does not completely fill the frame. It's there, and I'll be able to look at it, and I can zoom in if I need to to see your image. Ideally, this works, and then when you save your file here, and again, make sure you know where you're saving your file to. The picture is inside this file. Now, as it mentions here, some students have issues that when they click on that, it doesn't load their picture into the PDF. So let's go through, and again, this is the video about submitting image files. So once you watch this, you can click that off as well. Once you've completed the whole worksheet and saved it, you'll want to come back over to your Blackboard assignment. Now I'm in instructor preview mode, so it might look a little bit different here. But this is where you actually submit your worksheet. So you come in here and browse your local files. And in this case, I've got the worksheet saved to the desktop. And I've attached that as a file. But if I couldn't get my image in there, I can click Browse Local Files a second time, go to my pictures, select the picture I wanted to submit, and it's now in there as a file. Now, if your camera's like mine and you get these weird ones, it might not be really clear what picture this is supposed to go with which question. So you can always come in here and either change the title or mention specifically which question in the lab that picture is answering. And that'll make it easier for me to connect this picture with the right part of the worksheet. Once you've done that, all you have to do is click Submit. Now again, because I'm working here in instructor mode, it's going to tell me a previewed assignment isn't going to be saved. But it should show you that it has submitted. And it would show both the worksheet and the image file to me when I go in to grade those files. So if you can't put your images directly into the PDF, go ahead and again, submit both files when you're submitting your assignment, and I'll be able to grade that. If you have any other questions, please contact me, and I'm more than willing to work through with individual students how to deal with these technical issues.